This is Agenda TV. Sauti ya mwananchi. We are now seeing um, the pressure of us losing industry to other countries. Um, Ethiopia is is taking a lot from us uh, in terms of even say the flower farms and so forth. So we need to have a national conversation uh, that why is this happening? Why are we beginning to lose? Why are we losing the competitive edge uh, that we used to have? We need to ask ourselves that we have been a focal economy, the focal point in this region, but we are now seeing real threats. So we must start anchoring ourselves uh, so that we do not lose uh, our commanding position uh, going forward. When an economy is under stress, there is now pressure for a lot of relief. You know, systematically, people are demanding more and more relief. And the government in itself, uh, through KRA, as you said, is busy squeezing businessmen like these ones even more and more and more because the demands on the government are becoming excessive. All right? So we need to find ways of creating wealth uh, in multiples. Uh, so the, the, the conversation that we will be looking at, in my view, is that what can we do as Kenyan people to accelerate the creation of wealth and make sure it is properly distributed uh, within the, 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 the Kenyan people so that this demand for what would be free things can subside. Otherwise, we will be under pressure, no matter who will be in government. If you reach a situation where the pressure keeps on coming that it is uh, we want, I was looking at uh, the BBI document and one of the things that comes out is that uh, the pressure has always been what can the country, what can the government give me? Uh, and now they are also saying there should be also citizens' obligations uh, to, 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 to the country to grow it. If we are not growing the pie uh, as citizens, then how can we expect the government to continue giving? As professionals, we realize that Mwishimiwa um, Mudavadi stood a better chance to have a conversation with. First, he understand our economy so well. Two, he's a, a national figure and understand the issues pertaining deep, the deep issues of this country. And we thought, however this country we are having some national conversation regarding the Building Bridges Initiative, among us other things, issues, they are quite... Uh, pertinent issues that are being ignored in this uh, discussion. One is the issues regarding revenue generation. We are discussing about how we are going to make money, uh, how, I mean how we are going to spend money, how we are, this money is going to go to who, this money is going to go to who, but we are not having a national conversation regarding uh, where the money is going to come from. We have already been hit hard by coronavirus. From February of this year, 2020, up to current, where we are talking about uh, September, maybe October, we know very well, and KRA can come and say very clearly, that we've corrected not more than 50% of their targets. Where are we going to get the, the other budget? Where are we going to get the, the other money? So we must have a national conversation. And that is why we came and discussed with Honorable Mudavadi. He understands our economy so well. So we discussed what are we going to do as a country? Because sometimes you go and discuss with some of our leaders in the National Assembly, even in the Senate, you realize their focus is 2022. They are losing the key focus. The focus is not 2022. The focus is today. People are hungry. People do not have food. Business are collapsing. People are not even sure whether they're going to go to school tomorrow. So those are the issues that we came to discuss and how we are going to, revolve, uh, I mean, to revive our economy.